Hey you guys, welcome to your weekend edition Love in General reading. This is for the element of air. Um, so if you're a Libra, Gemini, or an Aquarius, Sun, Moon, or Rising, these messages are for you for March 20th through the, through the 22nd, 2020. Um, so I want to thank you guys for liking, sharing, and subscribing. I ask that you all please continue to do so. Remember, these are generals, so they may or may not resonate, but hopefully uh, you're able to get some clarity. If you want your own personal reading, be sure to email me. Um, and payments and orders are collected on Fridays. Now, if you're wanting to reach me by phone, that's a different process. So make sure you're subscribed so that you can um, get the notifications of when I'm taking live calls. So let's go ahead and get started here. We have the central issue, Heart of the Matter, as the Eight of Pentacles, the King of Pentacles, the Queen of Pentacles. We have the Ten of Cups, the Page of Wands, the Magician, Death, and oh, Nine of Swords. Okay. So central issue looks as if there's a lot of focus going on. There's something that you seem to be focused on. You might be focused on your health, focused on your income, um, or just busy with everyday life. Um, you also could be focused on an earth sign or an earth sign maybe is focused on you or has some sort of plans that they're working on but these plans whatever is being planned out seems like it's been in a long time coming um something has taken a long time to develop or to get into place so if this is about a relationship i feel like there's um a need to build on this relationship or something's taken a very long time to develop or you've been in this relationship for a very long time and just really trying to stay focused on it or maybe you've been trying to get pregnant for a long time um if it is job related it just looks like you're really focused on doing something that you actually love now i also feel like there's a possibility that a that an illusion is being created something might not be real or something might not be what you think or maybe you are someone who works behind the scenes or you're someone who's just very creative um so your imagination is just kind of working overtime you also might have like a lot of dreams over the weekend and it's one of those dreams where it feels like you've been dreaming the same thing for hours and hours and hours um, so I feel like you might be having like a very long dream over the weekend. I feel like you guys are also maybe just spending time with family. Um, maybe you work from home and this is also showing you being busy and still making your money from home. Um, but it does look like you're spending time with family. It could be also a romantic interest, but... Nevertheless, you're spending time with people that you care about. Um, it's possible. I'm not really seeing. Well, I do see an illusion coming to an end. So maybe you have been looking at something through rose tinted glasses. Or maybe something was perfect or ideal. And maybe uh, the veil is coming off in an um, you're seeing something or someone for what it really is. Mm. It also looks like there's a possibility that someone's been playing mind games or sending mixed signals or talking indirectly. Now, it is a possibility that if there's a situation where there's been indirect communication, um, that you know that stops that comes to an end something could be happening that transforms your life forever um and that could be anything like maybe there's some sort of changes coming to your business the way you work um it could be your name and it could be a breakup but it does look like something could be happening that changes you forever There is something 
something in regards to anxiety and spirits. Uh, okay, so those of you that are maybe tapped into any or sensitive to some sort of um, spirits or people that have crossed over, I feel like either you're dreaming about them or they're trying to get your attention about something. They're trying to prepare you or just, or warn you about a situation. It doesn't have to be negative. Maybe it is, maybe it isn't, but I do feel like maybe there are spirits around you and I feel like it's someone that already crossed over. So if any of you have a loved one that has already crossed over, I feel like they're trying to tell you something or show you something or teach you something. Um, you could be dealing with any signs, but the ones standing out are Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, um, Scorpio, Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius. Mm, I feel too like there may be someone that you broke up with or things ended with you and this person, but you still have not been able to stop thinking about them. Um, and maybe there it's possible that they're thinking about you as well. But it does look like you keep thinking about somebody. Mm. I feel like if any of you are being manipulated by someone, that that's something that needs to come to an end. So it doesn't just have to be love related, but any form of manipulation. Someone always trying to deflect or convince you of something otherwise, like that just has to stop. I definitely feel like the indirect communication is coming to an end. And someone also is like, I feel like they have a ghost profile or they're changing their profile picture to the symbol of a ghost or a hooded figure. Someone may be trying to manipulate you into staying even if the situation seems dead. Mm. I also feel like you guys are going to be cutting off communication from certain people or they're gonna be cutting it off from you. Let me clarify a few things here. Um, someone that has been an illusion or maybe you've been looking at something through rose tinted glasses. Maybe you've been just looking at the pretty picture. Someone may be doing spell work on you so that you don't forget them or every time you try to move on from them, they, they may be doing some sort of spell work or manipulate you into staying or to keep thinking about them. Mm, I also see someone who is in a codependent relationship or someone wants you to know that they're stuck in a codependent relationship. And I also see that someone has plans on um, having a baby with you so that they can remain a part of your life forever. I feel like maybe you are trying to walk away or ignore. Oh boy. Yeah. Someone's trying to run away. Someone's trying to detach from one person. Hmm. I feel like someone is trying not to fall for temptation or trying not to fall for somebody. They're like, leave me alone because I know you're not real or I know you're an illusion or I know what you're offering isn't real. Like, 
I feel like you're trying to avoid a situation, but it's like you keep getting trapped or you keep falling for it. Something you keep falling for. Um, hmm. Someone is coming off as something could be toxic, but you're not seeing that. Something might be unhealthy or not good for you. There, there could be some sort of overindulgence, um, too much drinking or too much eating of junk food, too much binging. Let me look at the magician. So someone, the way they are communicating is confusing or off-putting. Ah, and like I said, I just feel like there's something going on where you keep falling for it. I feel like you maybe you can't stop thinking about somebody or someone is still thinking about you. Yeah, somebody's playing mind games. It also could be that someone is viewing you as uh, manipulative and hurtful. It looks like, I feel like someone wants to have the courage to speak their truth, but then they get knocked down or then something is said where something hurtful is said I think someone maybe um, maybe keeps putting their foot in their mouth or there's some type of self-sabotage going on. Maybe someone does something on purpose to keep someone away. Ugh. Hmm. I feel like someone's wearing a mask. For some of you, this is about an ex something about your ex i don't know if they're playing mind games with you or you them i feel like someone i don't know they don't want you getting a lot of attention i feel like someone doesn't like it when you're in the spotlight that doesn't just have to be love related. That just that might be a, a friend, someone who might be um, phony or not real. Someone doesn't like it when you get a lot of attention. Let me look at death here. Some of you may be trying to end things with an earth sign or an earth sign is trying to end things with you. Something is blocked or it keeps getting blocked. Now it's possible that whatever it is that's blocking you, um, the blockages may be getting ready to come to an end. This could be something as simple as someone wanting to talk or reach out, but their phone is cut off or something keeps going to voicemail or someone is calling you from an unknown number and you don't answer. Um, hmm. You guys are definitely, I'm getting haunted. 
I'm starting to feel like you're being haunted. Like the, the overall theme is something about you being haunted. And I mentioned spirits and people have crossed over. So I feel like maybe you are somehow attracting spirits or you're just haunted by memories or thoughts of someone that you have not spoken to where there has been no silence. I mean, no action. It's just been pure silence. Either you ghosted them, they ghosted you, but it's, it's getting to your head. I feel, I feel like you can't, even though there's been no communication, I, I just still feel like there's still some sort of anxiety when it comes to this person. Like you can't stop thinking about them. I think for the most part, whatever this anxiety is, it looks like that's coming to an end. Or the secret is to confront your fears. Let me look at the Nine of Swords. Someone is being haunted because they're ignoring their intuition. Someone is not doing what they're supposed to do, which is why also I feel like spirit is trying to get your attention or get you to pay attention to something that you're not wanting to listen to. You're ignoring your intuition here. You're ignoring what you know you need to do. Hmm. There's something that needs to be said or done. Oh my goodness. A lot of you might be dealing with an earth sign. It looks like the both of you are not listening to your intuition. Both of you have some sort of anxieties or insecurities about maybe making the first move or reaching out first. Like I feel like something's going on even if it's new, a new love attraction, this is indicating that there is a secret admirer and I feel like the both of you are attracted to one another but too fearful to, to say something first. If this is someone that you know from your past, I feel like you both want to talk to each other, you both have been dreaming about each other, but you're both refusing to reach out first. It's, it's this back and forth with who's going to reach out to who first. Um, and I feel like if it's meant to be, because I know this is general and it's not going to be for everybody, but if this connection is meant to be, I feel like spirits are trying to bring something to your attention or trying to push one of your buttons or both of your buttons to get something happening. Someone either has tribal piercings or tribal tattoos. I'm seeing someone that even may have a nose ring or used to have a nose ring. I also feel like someone really wants to speak. They really want to take action, but they're just not doing anything. Um, someone is pretending like they don't care anymore. Excuse me. And it might be the both of you, but they still care. Um, and I feel like someone is very nervous about coming forward and ends up not doing anything. Hmm. Yeah, let me go ahead and pull some additional cards for you guys, some energy cards. All right, what additional messages are there for 
Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, Sun, Moon, and Rising for this Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. So we have the world walking away, fifth chakra, Archangel Gabriel, and Angel of Balance. All right, so there is a need to put things back in alignment or make some sort of adjustments. I feel like you are... It's something feels like your world's apart. Now, you might literally be at a distance or maybe you're just giving each other space. And I feel like someone wants to run away or give up. And every time that happens, I feel like something stops you in your tracks. It looks like you're trying to escape a situation. The throat chakra may be blocked for some of you. So there may be some sort of need to speak. There also may be someone around you who activates your throat chakra and makes you say something, even if you don't really want to. It just looks like something needs to be said. There needs to be some sort of communication. There also may be a need for some sort of forgiveness. And I feel like someone may be giving you a gift or sending you a gift. I feel like someone is trying to do something nice for you or they want to do something nice for you. Mm. But I feel like someone is receiving a gift. Now, it also may be a situation where someone is willing to make some sort of sacrifice for you, which requires someone to let go or leave. Hmm. But for the most part, and then two, I feel like there's a need to see something from a different perspective. I feel like your world is getting ready to change or there is a huge cycle that's getting ready to um, change or come to an end so that new beginnings can start. Yeah, so something is trying to balance. I feel like it's something needed to open up the path of romance for you. But someone is stuck. Someone is waiting to be rescued, which might cause delays or blockages or make someone feel like giving up. Someone is definitely hiding or covering up their true feelings. They don't want you to know that you bring them a sense of balance or peace or you don't want someone to know. Someone is also, I feel like, making excuses or being manipulated by other people. Um, it's almost like some sort of negative energy or force is trying to keep two people apart. Hmm. And I also feel like someone is trying to offer help or assistance. Yeah. So hopefully those messages make sense. Um, feel free to leave your comments. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Many blessings to you.